hey, are you trying to figure out how to work your business to where everything works and flows and you can kind of look in one place to keep up with all the things that you must keep up with for your business and for your everyday life place? Would you like to have boards like these to where it just makes your life way easier for, you know, figuring out what needs to happen on a day-to-day -day basis? If so, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to create a board just like this. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to create a video and do a deep dive on explaining a little bit more about Trello and how you can use it and how it can benefit you in your business. And um, the easiest way to explain what Trello is, is it's a collaboration tool that organizes projects and all in a one glance look. And so you can, um, you can also um, assign cards to team members. You can see what projects other team members are working on. And it just has a lot of different robust options to offer for you. And the really cool part about it is it's free. All you have to do is go to Trello.com and set up an account and you can start working on creating your very own Trello board, or you can grab a copy of somebody's Trello board if they're, if they give you a copy, you know? Um, so that is a really cool aspect about Trello. So it is really plug and play and it just makes life a little bit easier on tracking your business. And a lot of times what I want you to think about is just think about the different hats that we have in life if we are an entrepreneur we're you know we have a household to run we have you know all of the aspects of our business that we need to kind of you know um, look at and get done each day this really just helps us to do that and um, so let me go ahead and share my screen to where this will make a little bit more sense of what I'm saying so this right here is like your home spot um, if you look up here it's got like you can uh, use the little waffle there to see other options that it has. I don't really use that area much. Um, you can also right here, I generally tend to stick to the home menu. And this is where all of your boards are stored. And this is where you can create your own Trello board. And so what I want to do is show you how to create your own Trello board and what it takes to kind of do all of that. And again, like I said, this is um, totally free. So you can totally create your own account and your own Trello board, and it will, you, you'll be able to do it without having to pay anything for it. However, if you're, um, just wanting something that's already put together and done for you. I do have a Trello board that I'm offering at the end so you can take advantage of that deal. However, if you're not interested in doing that, that's totally fine and cool. Um, I just wanna show you how you can create your own Trello board. So what you wanna do is come over here to where it's got this little plus sign in the top right-hand corner of your screen and you're gonna hit that plus, you're gonna hit create board, and then you're going to need to name your board something. So you're going to name it. I'm going to just call this one Trello uh, training board. And then you're just going to hit create bo board. Okay. So now it's got several different um, options here for you. Okay. So I did do the little upgrade to where it gives me a free trial for, you know, 14 days and all of that fun stuff. So I will drop that back down. But as of right now, that is not anything you've got to worry about. Um, I just wanted to see the benefits that it did offer with the paid version and all that fun stuff. So anyways, to change out your background of your board because this is a little boring and it does not like speak to me and make me want to like just jump on and and do things not that the mountains aren't beautiful and pretty it's just i know that that's not going to work for me so you'll do show menu and then you'll do change background and then you can go to photos you can scroll through all of these pre like selected photos that they have for your background options or if you're like, yeah, no, those are not speaking to me, you can actually upgrade, I mean, upload your own custom uh, Trello board and, you know, like your own background that you would personally like to see or have there. Um, so that is an option. So I'm uploading my board and let's just say that this one is the one I want to use for right now, okay? 
and it's got my little logo at the bottom and so we'll just go with that for now. Um, this right here is how you start to build out your Trello board. So you know how it's like in life you've got okay you've got your family list of things that you need to get done for your household errands that need to be ran um, things that need to be done to kind of run the house you you know it'd be nice to have like just a you know, a list for that. And then you need like a list for running your business. And so really you can even have just a board dedicated to running your business. And then you can have a board dedicated just for, you know, all the family things that you need to do. You could actually assign different things to different family members. Same thing with your business board. You could do that as well. Or you could just have it all on one board. It depends on how your brain thinks and what's not going to feel overwhelming to you. So you'll get that worked out as you go. But what I want to do is show you here how you, you know, start to build out your board. And so you'll just click add list. And now you need to see, okay, now you need to name this list. So this could be new leads slash contact and then so you've got each one of these boards that you're going to be naming and then you'll do like follow up and to list then you could do one for cold leads there we go cold leads hot leads and then that's the other really cool thing about this is once you get your uh, list created you can you see how I'm moving these around you can totally move them around and figure out where exactly you want to have them let's add another list and I like to call this one my scripts script vault scripts vault and then I'm going to move this all the way to the left because this kind of becomes like my little uh you know main menu of sorts and it's just where I reference everything and so you will have to set all this up you will have to plug all the information in but once it's plugged in you're good and so just know that this will kind of get easier as you go so to create a card for this area here I'm going to create another like I'm going to create a card inside of here let's see and it's going to say scripts vault so you kind of essentially kind of have to um create you're going to write this twice one you're labeling the the list and then you're going to label a card entitled scripts vault okay and so then you click on that and then this is where you can change out the cover and add like you know something that you would like for that cover um, you know, on there. Now, the thing is, you're going to, to make it look pretty, to make it look like the board that, you know, you may have seen that I've created, you're going to have to use um, Canva to really, you know, get that put together. So I come to Canva and um, I basically create, let's see, um, I just created my own little um, pictures for my list. And what you'll need to do is just do Instagram post, and then you'll type in, you'll do the, you'll click the blank option. And then this brings you to a blank, um, basically template size of what you would use for an Instagram post. I'm just needing something that's this size to use. So I'm not necessarily creating this for my Instagram, I'm just creating this to go in as a picture for my list. So right here is how you're going to look for all of the pictures and things that you need um, or that you're interested in. And so as you can see, here's like a ton of ones that I have that I have created already or used and it just, you know, just totally works and it's just, you know, it's nice to have. So once you get to used to do it, once you're working on just a few projects, you'll see in your recently used that it has a ton of what you're already looking for. And um, it's like pictures that you like and that you've personally chosen and things like that. Okay, and if you don't have um, things built up in your recently saved pictures area, like right here, um, like I was showing you, then what you're gonna do is basically just go to photos go to your search bar and then just, I always type in like pink office. And then once I start seeing stuff that I like, I'm like, ooh, I like that. So I'll click it. 
And maybe I'm just fishing for pictures, you know, at the moment, and I can kind of click all of these. And as you click them and add them, and I like, as you see, I'm like adding, clicking them and it pops up over here like that. Then I hit delete because this is just a quick way for me to go through and add pictures that I like and that are visually appealing to me. And it'll throw it in my recently used um, like area of pictures and it'll give me like just a built up, you know, um, kind of uh, library of pictures that I like. And so that's how I, you know, find those pictures. But you can do like pink office, you can do um, office pics. You could go through here, see if there's anything. Um, you could also just type in pink. And when you type in pink, you get like all of these very pretty options and that I could use and, you know, um, implement into some of my creations and stuff like that. Let's see if rose gold, it'll uh, give you like these little um, types of, you know, um, brush stroke looking things. I mean, there's just tons of options um, that you'll get once you uh, search like that. And like you see, like this one would be a great, perfect picture to have. Um, so I'm going to click that one and you just see a ton of different things. Now you may have to kind of scroll through for a second to kind of get to seeing what you're wanting, but that is the way you would do that. That So we'll just go with this keyboard, this pink keyboard here, and I'm going to make this look pretty. Okay. So I've got my pink keyboard, my pink background that I'm going to use right there in the background. Now I need to come over to elements and just give this a little bit of dimension. Now, of course, you do not have to do all of this, but this, of course, makes it look super girly and super cute and pretty. And I just find that I use it. And so that's why I'm taking the time to set it up and do it because I just know me like I'm not going to use it if I don't think it looks if it's not pretty and it's just not you know, appealing to my eye. And so what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to create uh, this. And so let me see, what did we name? Oh, Scripps Vault. So let's go ahead and do a text, add in a text here, move that there. Sometimes you have to just go ahead and write what you're going to write and make this really bigger than in order to get the ends to pull and do what you want it to do. And then we're just going to center that and we're going to put, could just make it really bold and then go back to elements and you could actually put one of these uh, square you know, things around it. I mean, the options are like endless to what you can do. So like, if you want a little bit more of a pop, you could do something like that. And then um, now we're gonna add another page and then we're gonna uh, create another picture for our second list, which is new leads. And so you'll go back to photos right here. And then you're just gonna type, you know, like you're gonna look for a photo that is, is going to talk to you or speak to you or something that you would like to use. And I'm just going to pull this to where it all kind of, it's got the edges, you know, oh, let's just do this one. I think it'll be easier to have a little bit more of the picture there. <laughs> okay. And so now what we're going to do, we'll go back to elements. We're going to add like a brush stroke. Um, that seems to be the easiest like way for me to throw a little bit of dimension in there. So let's do that. And what is, okay, so we're looking for a new lead. So now I just need to, and what I like to do is just click here. And since I've already kind of got this text, the size that I need it, just duplicate it. So you hit that plus of this and it duplicates that text, pull it down to this one here. And that's kind of like a little fast way to move through this when you're doing multiples of the same thing. So just know that's an option. So new leads and you can change out your fonts, of course, you know, all of that over here. But um, for right now, I'm just keeping it super easy. Now we're going to just hop right along. Let's see, I'll go ahead and use that throughout. Hopefully it works for all of them. <laughs> and now we'll do photos. Okay, and let's just do this one here. 
Okay, and let me see, hot leads. So that's gonna be, I need to throw in my element and then throw in my copy. Sometimes, okay, so the, the issue is with that one, the reason why I can't copy this one is because this last layer that I put over it, it's like on top. So all you need to do is just click the um, frame and move to backwards. And then that way it'll bring this one to the forefront there. So now I can actually click on the text I've already created and you're gonna hit this again, which is gonna copy and then you just pull it down and you're just gonna put hot leads on this. Now you'll go and do the same here. Now we just need to pick a photo. Um, pick a photo. We've done hot leads and now we need to do cold leads. So let's do our elements again and let's Click this one, make a copy of that, pull this down, and do all leads. Okay, now we'll do this one and we'll go to this little next page. And what's our next list? Follow up. So let's do a follow up. And I just need a picture. Pull this down just like that. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to need to add an element, our little brush stroke, and now we need to add our text. So we're just going to make a copy of that text, pull this down, and follow up. I'm kind of mixing it up here, so <laughs> it's going to be a little different on um, each one of these. Like, I don't know, let's see, let's see how this one looks here. And I mean, you can really get really detailed with this, but we're just trying to, we're just trying to get the job done. So we're not trying to, you know, spend a whole heck of a lot of time, but at least enough time to make it look pretty to where we want to use it. So now you just need to download these. And I would suggest downloading them in the PNG version. Download. And now... Just gonna wait. Okay. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna pull these. Let's just see if it'll pull it over to my screen there. And then now what I'm gonna do is go back to my Trello board. And now I can begin to add the all of those pictures that I've created for each of my list. So you're gonna go into so let's go ahead and add cards for each one of these. So new leads, that way it's just easier. Hot leads, add a card, cold leads, add a card, follow up, and add the card. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the card, on the scripts vault card. And this is where you can really, you know, make all your edits, all of that fun stuff. So um, and you can also add that cover picture. So we need to go to attachments and we need to go to computer. And here is all of the fun stuff that we just did. So we need to add this one to here. Okay. Now I'm going to go here to new leads and I'm going to go to attachment back to my computer. And I'm going to grab this one, which is new leads. And it's going to pop all of these in here. Okay, and then you just X out and then you go on over to the next um, column or the next list into this card and then you're going to go to attachment, you're going to go to your computer and then you're going to click the third one and then right here. And now you'll do cold leads and then you'll go um, attachment computer. And we're on our fourth one here and you're just going to add that one in, close it out and now you'll add your uh, You'll go to follow up card, attachment, computer, and you're going to add your last card. So here it is. Okay, now does that not look so pretty? And it makes you like totally want to work on your, um, you know, uh, all of your stuff. So this could be your day one script, okay? So create a card for day one script, add card. Now click the card, 
go to description and here's where you can write you know hey um it's so nice to connect with you here are you um are you a stay at home mom or whatever your first you know messages that you send for you know the follow like when you're starting to um prospect a new person that you're prospecting so that's what this is going to be so then you would do your day one script and then you would do day three script and then you'll do like if you have a day you know seven and now here's where it's really really neat um so this right here say like if i've got a new lead okay i'm gonna put susie q i'm gonna put her in and then i'm gonna put nicole b i don't know i'm making these people's names up you know um sam t we'll go with that now with these each of these people you can really start to really uh you know like develop um a whole process of what you're where you're at in the prospecting and layering process so now let's create checklist so let's do a um layering checklist that's what we're going to call this checklist and now what we're going to do is we've um made initial made first contact and then you'll add assign people and dates and checklists so that's just letting you know that you can totally assign people to do these different tasks um, but what we're going to do we've made our first contact we've um, exposed her to what we do to opportunity um shared information or video of opportunity added to customer facebook group okay and so um let's see added to customer facebook group or um Or new consultant information and then you add okay so each of these so say like for Susie q if we've made our initial contact 20 percent. now you see that it just like you know gave 20 percent of your bar is done now and then you made her you exposed her to your opportunity so you told her what it is you do and asked her if she's you know interested in taking a look at it and so if you've done that, then you've shared the information or the video, and then you either add her to your customer Facebook group or you um, give her new consultant information and get her started with the whole path of being a new consultant. Okay, so another really cool thing that I want to show you how to do is now that you've figured out how to add checklists, I want you to be able to um, add other little uh, things that will help you in the process of you know just um you know basically making your board a little easier to look at so say like if you want to you know put a um a break between you know like a just break up some of your you know information and not just have card 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 and you just need a little bit of a break you can do a card and then just hit shift and then the little space button up top that's beside your zero and then just hit add and you see that now it creates this like divider you know between your text that's another thing that it took me forever to figure out and i was like how are people doing that and so you can copy it you can do another one create and copy this okay and you can pull it over here to another board so that's kind of cool um so this is helpful like if you're you know um if you just need to kind of break the information up it's just nice to have um also you can create labels so like all of these are different label options that you can kind of you know uh also add to your board 
And, you know, I have found those to be a little bit helpful to me. And so um, this right here, you could do like, uh, you name, well, let's see. And then I hit the edit. And now you can, you know, click needs uh, e-link. Oh, there we go. Save. So you could do that, um, you know, or you could let, or you could create like an, a label, um, make this one pink and, you know, follow up on Monday. Follow up, let's just do follow up, like a follow up label. And then you save that. And so those are different labels that you can, you can create and it'll draw your attention more to that a particular person and it'll just you know kind of give you like a little more of a red flag or you know whatnot there just so you'll know hey I really need to pay close attention to this I need to follow this the other really cool thing is you can move these cards from board to board that is so cool and that has been like the neatest thing so like when you know she can go from being a new lead to a hot lead and you know follow up with her with you know, wherever you're at in the process. And this is just like a rough draft example of basically working a business. But um, this is just to show you exactly how you can, how this can work. And so it's a lot easier for versus pen and paper because you know how messy it gets just after trying to write down and keep up with one person on pen and paper. And then if you have to, God forbid, you know, scratch something out, change something, it just, you get to the point where you can't even read it. And so that's why I really like this is because all of these are really just so super easy to move. And then you can just kind of see where you're at in the process. So I did want to be sure that I showed you how to create a label um, and you can create labels for several different things. It just depends on what it's, you know, like you're going to have to tailor it to your business for your specific stuff. So, okay, so we can close out Susie Q. The other really cool thing that I want you to look at is right here on the front of her card, you see it says three out of five things have been done that, that have been completed off of her checklist. That's really cool. Also, any details or descriptions about Susie Q, I would write those here. So she's, let's say she's a mom of three. Um, she's a stay at home mom. Um, she wants to wants to earn more income for her family. So these are like all of the like, you know, just notes that you kind of need to make and have in your head when you're, you know, um, kind of interacting with her. And so you can save all of that information right there. Um, you could also another good thing that I would get into the habit of is to save her profile link. So just copy and paste it right from your link bar and paste it right in here. So you can just click it and it'll take you right to her page. And then you can like, you know, that'll help you stay on top of staying in front of her and, you know, just kind of interacting with her. And then she's on your top list of people to kind of layer each day, um, you know, and, and that changes. And so it just depends on all on how you work your business and all of that. But that's one of the things that I do because I just need quick links to hit the people that I need to get to. And if I just go to Facebook and try to do it from my Facebook there, I just get too like sidetracked. So I just find putting the link here is the easiest thing to do. So let me go right here to Facebook actually and show you what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to put, you know, my personal Facebook link in here. You're just going to go click on her. So this is my Facebook profile and I'm going to click copy up here in the link where the HTTPS is. I just select there and I right click and hit copy. Now I'm going to go back over here to Suzy Q's profile, which would, we'll just call me now. And I'm going to pop this in here so that that way I have all of that there. So now this is a clickable link. So you hit that and look, it's going to take you right to her page. How awesome is that? And then this way, you're not having to go through Messenger and try to dig, dig, dig through all of your Messenger and see what, you know, who's, you know, who you left off with, where you left off with them. It's all right here. That is the coolest thing ever. And so that's, that's, um, if that's one thing that you can take from this, definitely add their 
uh, profile links right here to this description area and it'll tell you everything that you need and I would just kind of keep this this description area um, updated of where you left off with her so you never lose a lead I mean seriously it's just it's so powerful and then now so say like okay I've just added Nicole B I need to add a checklist for her so you could just copy items from layering checklist see how I've got a it's under Susie Q it's got her like grayed out there but I can copy that ch same checklist that I created for Susie Q and put it there and then just add and voila it pulls in that whole layering checklist and so you can do that for each person and so now you just close that out and you'll go right on down to Sam T and then you'll do um, checklist and so you'll copy from and it'll you know you'll see it adds each person each time in case you did say like a different you know added a few different things to that checklist so we're just going to go with this one and you can just copy it right onto here okay and that will make your life so much easier with trying to keep up with all your leads with trying to follow up and try to stay in front of your leads that's just going to make this whole process way easier so anyways, I hope that this has answered a few of your questions, gave you a little bit more insight and detail on how to create your own Trello board, how this can be useful in your business and answers, you know, like a, a few of your questions that you may have had um, about Trello. But I promise you, the one thing that you have to do is you're going to have to use it to get used to it. But the more you use it, the more you're like, oh my gosh, how did I ever live without this? And so this is going to definitely give you... Um, so much more clarity to your day and it's just going to get a lot more done so anyways i hope you found this helpful if you would like the uh trello board that i've created i will include that in the description below and um until next time i will talk to you later and bye